Okay, so we are now in the mo the margin segmentation or tooth segmentation um, part of the module. So if you notice, if you've used the software before, we had some issues with the embrasure areas and we had two separate lines. But notice that now this red line is continuous with this one. These nodes are actually attached. These lines interproximally are merged and that makes it very nice for teeth that are touching because now the software just slices between them. You can still move these nodes around in fact, if you don't like, if you want to um, bring the, note, the lines together even more, you can grab a node here and drag it right over top of this one, and they will now merge. Okay? Where I just did that, that was not necessary. That was purely me doing it for demonstration purposes. It wasn't necessary in this case, but it might be necessary in one of your cases. I look around at all the embrasures, make sure it looks pretty good. It does not have to be perfect, but we want it to be fairly good, fairly ideal. If you see a line, an area like this, you can move the one node. Or if you see an area, I'm looking for a, a bad one, you can always redraw the line. This isn't necessary to redraw this, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to press the shift button. Notice it turns into a crosshair again, and I'm just going to redraw a line. Control Z. Well, I, I would hit Control Z to undo. The reason this happened is notice this is still blue or teal. This one back here is red. This is the active tooth. I tried to adjust the margin up here when in fact this was the tooth that was active. My mistake, no big deal. It tried to bring the line all the way up here. I can just hit the undo button right here or use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Z. That's undo. Okay, so now if I click on this tooth, it turns red. It's, a, it's ready to be edited. I'm going to hold this and draw the line. And notice it just redrew the line following where I drew it. Okay. Here's another little area. I'll click on this tooth to activate it. There, that's corrected. And that's pretty much it. Uh-oh, there's one little spot right here. Let's move this up here so that this is all papilla, treated as tissue, as that's what it is. And I think we're looking pretty good. Don't really need to mess with this, but I will, just because I can get a little picky. And now we're done. So now we can go ahead and say continue to mandible. You can also press this button, whichever you prefer. I'm used to just pressing the double chevron, the little two little arrow buttons. And now I'm going to check this one. Looking at all the lines making sure everything looks pretty smooth, the embrasures, the papillae look well separated from the teeth. Perhaps I could redraw this line, probably not necessary. The lingual area can sometimes be a little bit, of the lower incisors can be a little bit harder for the software to, to differentiate because if you can see there's not a lot of definition when we capture it the better you capture your embrasures your margins you, know, you dry off the teeth make sure there's no saliva in there if it gets really clear margins the software knows what it's where to separate things so that is where taking uh, good scans is very helpful another little little tip when you're scanning try to get three to four millimeters apical and three to four millimeters distal to the last tooth Okay, apical to all teeth and three to four millimeters distal to the last tooth. That's going to help us a lot. You cannot have too much data. It's, you can never have too much data. The more you have, the easier it is for the computer to process things. And that's it for this uh, phase. We've, we don't have to spend as much time. We used to have to spend more time up here making sure the lines crossed properly. If you want, you can be picky here, but truth be told, this software does an excellent job of breaking the contacts, if you will, of separating the teeth. So that's a big time savings for us with this new version of the software. Okay, I'm going to click here, and we will move on to the next phase of the software.